Hey what's going on weavers, Tim here again, and if you like to carry Swiss army knives or other small slip joint style knives, then this video is definitely for you, as we will be making a paracord belt pouch that you can keep your constant bladed companions on hand and also free up some pocket space, and it's got this secure buckle retention. We've even got horizontal and vertical carry options, and that's what we'll be making in this episode. So that being said, let's get into it. In terms of materials, I'm using gold and dark green for my main weaving colors, and some gutted gray paracord for the side panels as well as the belt loops. Also, I'm using a single side release buckle. First off, I'm going to join my green and gold strands by clipping off the ends and then melting them with my lighter briefly, and then holding them together until the melted cord solidifies. Then I'm going to take my cords near the joint section and I'm going to pass it and bend it through the front of the buckle. And I'm going to have my green cord pass through the top of the buckle and make a loop. Then I'm going to bring both cords around the back of the loop and bend them through to the front, making a slingstone hitch and I'm going to cinch that up. Next, I'm going to bring my cords around to the other side of the buckle and I'm going to take the gold cord and pass it through the back of the buckle and bring it to the front. And then with the green strand, I'm going to pass it through the front of the buckle and to the back. I'm going to pull the majority of my cord through the buckle on both sides, ensuring that they are equal. Then I'm going to tie a single cobra knot by passing the green cord over the core strands and take the gold over that one. Pass it behind and then through the crook on the left and pull tight. So after tying this first cobra knot, you're going to want to check for sizing to ensure that it's large enough for your Swiss army knife or slip joint. We're going to continue by tying cobra knots now all the way down the core. In my case, my green strand is always remaining on the front using our basic cobra knot tying technique. Do this all the way down your core until you reach the other side of the buckle. The thickness of the weave will change the sizing slightly, so ensure that it still fits your knife after weaving. Now working with the green strand side, I've attached my lacing needle and I'm going to start weaving across the side of the pouch going through the vertical gold cobra knots on the edge of the cobra knots. Do this going back and forth and ensure that your sections are even. Do this all the way down the side of the pouch. And I'm going to finish at the very bottom like so. At this point, you can check again to ensure that your knife fits in the pouch and that your sides weren't made too narrow. I'm going to repeat the exact same process on the opposite side with the gold strand. The strands might look a little different on the opposite side, but just go as far as you can down the side. And notice that it finishes on the opposite side as the green. Next, working with my gray strands, I'm going to gut the cords by snipping off the ends of the cord and pulling out all the inner white strands. Don't forget to melt the snipped ends to prevent fraying. With my gutted gray cord on my lacing needle, I'm going to anchor it to the vertical gold cobra knot section just opposite where my green cord finishes.
I'm going to lock it down after pulling the majority of the cord through, and then I'm going to melt the end slightly and press down on it with my knotter's tool to secure it. Now we're going to weave the side panel with our gray strand. I start by going over and under the green strands, going towards the opening of the pouch. Once you get to the other side, pull all the cord through. Ensure that you don't get any twists in the gray strand. Also try to push the strand to the side to make way for the next weave. From there, going back the way we came, we're going to go under, over, and under next to the first strand. So you're going to do this basket weave style pattern across the side panel of the pouch. And for this particular pouch I'm doing, it's going to take four passes going across. It might take more or less depending on what size you made. The easiest way to avoid tangles is to untwist the cord as you're pulling it through with your thumb and index finger. So now I've made it to the other side. And to finish, I'm going to lock the cord down by going through the vertical gold cobra knot at the very same knot where my green cord finishes. With that done, I'm going to snip and melt my excess gray and green cords at the same time. Just snip them with your scissors, melt with the lighter, and press down with the knotter's tool. For the opposite side, you're going to do the exact same process with your second piece of gutted gray cord. Once that's done, snip and melt like before. Now to add the belt loops, I've got my belt laying across to make it easier to size. I'm using another piece of gutted gray 550 and it's on a lacing needle. I'm going to start by going under two of the gray cords on the side above my belt. And I'm going to have equal amounts of cord on both sides. From there, still using the lacing needle, I'm going to pass it under the two gray strands again, just below the belt with the right strand and then with the left strand, do the same under the same two gray strands from the opposite side. I've now rotated the entire thing around, and we're just going to tie some cobra knots going down the core strands to form our belt loop. You don't have to do this on the belt, but I thought it would make sizing easier and also make it easier to see. You can also use the lacing needle on the cord that goes behind to make it easier. Do this going down your belt loop. And as you guessed it, once done, snip and melt the excess cords. So to finish, just repeat the process a second time, right next to the first belt loop. And I think adding a second one adds a good amount of stability and makes it feel a lot more sturdy on the belt. Now as for the horizontal carry option, I did the same method, but instead I attached the belt loops on the edges of the cobra knot sides going perpendicular to the pouch. If you need to see the demo for that, I have a link posted in the description box and pinned comment for that additional footage. So there we have it weavers, a paracord belt pouch for your EDC needs, and I think this one came out really nice. You could definitely modify the dimensions of the pouch to fit other items of course, you'll just have to play around with the measurements as needed. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. If you're going to make one of these, let me know in the comments what you'll be carrying in that pouch and if you're going to be using the vertical or horizontal carry method. That being said, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters, 
If you want access to exclusive tutorials as well as our Discord server, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video cards as well as down below. You can join for as little as $3 a month. You can also support this channel by liking the video and commenting. Also, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.